Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hill, our 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. I'm going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible. <clears throat> you could join me. I'm going to be in Matthew 24. I'm going to be reading verses 32 to 51. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you should know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is, is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will be by no means pass away. But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken, the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? whom his master made ruler over his household, to give them food in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly, I say to you, that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day, when he is not looking for him, and at an hour that he is not aware of, and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So weeping and gnashing of teeth is not a good day. So I got this prophecy um, yesterday morning, and I was praying and thinking about it all day. And it's very interesting. And the title of the, the prophecy is The Day of the Night of the Thief. The Day of the Night of the Thief. A strong man and a lazy man will be slumbering. The old woman will be soft, softly rocking in her comfortable chair. The children will play quietly. The mighty men will speak of the trials of the day. <clears throat> the young woman will prepare a late meal. The star shall announce the return of the shepherd. The flock is scattered, many have perished. A small voice will rise up like thunder. The air will be still, the waves quiet it, the creatures and beasts resting. The hand of God will cover the land. My children will be gathered to me in an instant. Woe to those who remain. Judgment falls like rain, fire, brimstone, lightning, smoke. Consider King David, the apple of my eye. He committed a great abomination in my sight. He considered himself to be above the law. No man can take the only lamb of another and not suffer a just punishment. So it was in the past, so shall it be in the evening of the day of the thief. My prophets and messengers speak of my soon return. Take heed that no man de be deceived. Behold, I am coming quickly like a thief in the night. I can't even add anything to that. That to me was a mouth dropper. So again, we know we're in the latter days. Um, I don't listen to any other YouTube people's um, 
video, so I don't really know what's going on there unless you guys send me something, you know, a, a video to look at. Uh, but we know, again, we're in the end of days, the latter days, uh, spoken and written in the book of the Revelation. I always uh, add, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, repent means ask for forgiveness, turn away from whatever sin that you might be involved in, and do not do it again. So I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur Day of Atonement. God bless you all. Remember to like us on Facebook, God's Hiller 7 Facebook. I do put up the scriptures and uh, any other comments or notes that I might have about the prophecies. I try to do that in advance. And God bless you all and have a safe and blessed day today. And uh, a special prayer out to everyone out there that appears to be suffering from depression and having some problems right now. Uh, Jesus loves you. We love you. Uh, we'll keep a special prayer for you uh, every day uh, in my prayer time. I will. And uh, please join us again. Amen.